So for today, we're going to be looking at the Hex Raw armor set for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we usually review the armor and then do a shader video. And then we look at the individual pieces of the sets and then we make actual sets from them. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, make sure to check out the review of the armor. We go through how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and generally pretty good video in my opinion. We also have the shader video done. That one is specifically all the shaders that I currently own on the armor. So if you guys are interested to see how it shaders, definitely check that video out. But other than that, let's look at the armor sets. So the first one is the helmet. And for this one, I have to explain a thing because for a lot of people, this is going to look weird, but I took heavy inspiration from Haster from Lovecraft, HP Lovecraft. Um, and I know some people might be like, oh, well, that makes no sense. And especially if you know Haster as well, considering Haster is usually just draped in gold. Um, my whole shtick with this one was more of a like pastor's kind of like hiding himself but the gold mask is still there and honestly that was like the biggest thing the mask really gives off like uh, a haster vibe in my opinion so that's why i was like oh i want to do something like that and that's how it all came to be so for this one i think it's really cool because we're using a lot of gold in here but very rarely do you actually see the gold so for this one the regal daring for hex raw is what we're using so that way i can get that gold this is where it gets unfortunate because Kalis selected for the grass of the Taken King unfortunately doesn't shader the white completely. You can still see speckles of gold in there. The Dark Hollow Chitin for Precursor Vex Chrome. That, I think that's a good combination because it goes, the belt uh, on the chest piece goes really well with the gold on the arms. I think that's really cool. For the boots, Veil Tied Strides is what I chose just because I, I honestly really like these boots, especially when you combine it with like a like a bougie like hive thing because this is what like in my head it kind of looks like like a bougie hive and then for the cloak we're using the starfarer's cloak because in the back there is a crown at least it looks like a crown and it's super goldy so i don't know i, I know some people are going to be like this looks nothing like haster and like that's kind of the point that's why i said i took inspiration not it's a one-to-one -one because if i was trying to do a one-to-one -one, i would most likely either do it with a titan or a warlock because they would have better pieces for that hunters probably unfortunately don't because we don't have a set that just has robes covering us but yeah overall i actually really do like this set again the only thing that i would probably switch out would be the grass of the taking king unfortunately just because uh it doesn't turn it completely white which is why i would switch it out because it does look really jarring when you combine it with the dark hollow chitin because the dark hollow chitin is super white and then the shoulder gauntlets and the shoulder pads are or the shoulder pads and the gauntlets are not white so that's the only thing i would probably switch out from this as for the next set this is another inspired set this one is actually horizon themed from playstation and it's funny because the hunters actually got the horizon themed uh, armor set which is why i'm using best of the anointed so this one i decided to go for that because a i was going to use the arms and the cloak and the both of those have a lot of like nature in them and I just decided let's just lean into Horizon because A, I'm going to be using the anointed chess piece and B, I just, I'm going to find a way to make this work, which is what I was trying to like in my head do. And I really like what I came with because A, we're using Blight Ranger with the Olmstead's Downfall helmet. I think this is a great choice. This is definitely something like um alloy would do like she would pick a helmet from one of the robots and just put it on for protection i definitely think that and i think this helmet looks really amazing for that for the arms and cloak hex rot is what we're using and then for the chest piece vest of the anointed and then for the boots iron foreign strength so again this set I really needed to make it look like ramshackled, like she has picked up or he, because my, my guardian's a he, he has picked up a lot of stuff in the wilderness, which is why he has fucking wheat on the shoulder and then a flower on the helmet. And I actually do think this is a banger. I would probably switch out the boots if I'm being honest, maybe something a little bit more ramshackled, but I definitely like where my head's going because it looks really cool. Shader we're using is Ken's coat. I just think the shader is really good. That being said, unfortunately vest of the anointed uh on the collar or not collar right around the neck you guys will see this blue that actually doesn't change color so if you are interested in doing something like this i would probably just tell you to switch the the cloak out unless you really like the cloak then you're just gonna have to deal with it or switch out the actually you could probably switch out the chest piece with the boots um for the, uh, the boots of the anointed and then just switch the chest piece for something else I think that would be way better just because it also fits with the theme of alloy 
uh, because Alloy does use a lot of like uh, bows and arrows and those boots have literally arrows on her on the hip. So definitely you can do that. I really like this set. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, I'm going to be reusing the armor set for the Timberland set. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll have it up right now. This is the set that I use for the hunters and I actually really, really like it. I just switched out some shaders here and there, uh, specifically flowers of IO for all of it. Aside from the helmet, the helmet has rust berry. So this one, I'm not going to talk too much because I have reused it, but I'm using the Augmented Wish for the Young Ahamkara Spine. I think this is really cool, especially when you combine it with all the other pieces that I have because it makes you look very ramshackled. Uh, Hex Rot Vest, Strides of the Anointed, like I said in the previous set, and then Canis Luna Cloak. So again, nothing too much to say about this one because I have used this one, but I just think all of it looks really cool. If I were to tell you one thing, I would probably tell you just switch out the helmet. Um, if you're not leaning into that color, that's why I'm using, using it because I'm using Flowers of Io and Flowers of Io is very close to that bone color and for the last one we're going to be using the boots and the arms and i think this one came out really cool um my only gripe is i think the boots are pretty weak and i'll explain why in a bit but for the helmet tail tight tail tights veil tights mask is where we're using the hex rod grips and the hex rod strides is also where we're using uh, the aphotic lemillar Limilar vest. I'm sorry if I can't pronounce that. I I swear it's hard. And then the substitutional alloy cloak is what we're using. So for this one, I'm actually really liking it. I think the only thing I would switch out is the boots because the boots are super heavy at the bottom and then really taper on the waist, which is really weird because it makes you look very thin in the top and then very thick at the bottom, which is something I'm not really liking. So I would most likely switch the boots out for something else. The other thing is I don't like the fact that like the chest piece, all of it is like very fucked up and like, like rusty. And then for the boots, it has like a good amount of space that doesn't have any rust. I think that's that like division is not good for me. So. I like a lot of these pieces. I think the uh, aphotic with the hex rod, I think both of those look really cool together and I would switch out the boots for something else. Um, I would say maybe the aphotic boots, but I don't like combining the chest and the boots in the same set just because that's too much of the same set that it makes it look all the same. Personally, for me, that's a rule that I live by. Um, but overall, I really like this set. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you all for coming up to this point. I really do. I am currently working on some videos like like the Titan and Warlock videos. I'm currently working on those as well. So uh, by the time this video is up, those videos should already be scheduled to go up this week. I'm also working on the shader videos. Um, depending on when iron banner comes up he might i might just post that shader video up because i do think that shader you should definitely pick it up uh, i'm working on the playlist shaders i'm working on the uh, seasonal shaders i'm working on a lot of things that i want to get out soon because i it's going to be really hectic for me because i restarted my second channel which if you guys don't know it's basically it's fixed tony plays we play whatever the hell i want um we're currently going to be playing a bunch of games uh i currently have Armored Core 6 is what we're playing there. We're also playing um, Starfield. Starfield is the other game that we're playing. Ratchet and Clank. Uh, not Kraken Time, but the other. The newest one that just came out. Um, we're playing remnant 2 we're playing a bunch of stuff so if you guys just want to chill and relax and just see someone play some dope games and probably give you some stupid commentary definitely check it out but i appreciate you guys coming up to this point i really do other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later